it has been five and a half days that I've been home and two weeks since I got off kale. So I just wanted to check in, let everyone know how I'm doing. Um, first, physically, I am really, really stiff. It's not the muscles, it's my ligaments and tendons and joints are all very stiff. I'm going for a walk every day. Um, I have been for the last few days at least. And then um, I tried to run, but everything's just so stiff that the jarring of running is very painful. So I'm gonna have to work back up to that. Um, my feet still get like shooting pains through them, but they're a lot better than they had been. And I definitely have a hiker hobble still. Um, when I've been sitting for a longer period of time. So sometimes even when I haven't been sitting for a longer period of time, but it's getting better. Adjusting physically to eating off of kale is that I've been sleeping a ton. So I'm sleeping in my bed now and I have been sleeping sometimes 11, 12 hours a, a night. And then during the day, I don't have a ton of tolerance for activity. So I'm just taking it slow, doing a few things each day and trying to build back up and get the sleep that I need to make up. Um, as far as weight loss and gain, it turns out, so I lost 30 pounds on trail altogether. I did not have 30 pounds to lose. I was Pretty concerned about it for a while, especially in the Sierras, but I did on trail gain 17 pounds back and I'm at a good place now. Hopefully I can stay where I am and maintain right now, but I'm not gonna be walking 15 to 25 miles a day. So that's not likely. As far as mentally, um, it's been so exciting and so much fun to watch all of the people I hiked with on trail make it to the border. It's also been kind of hard. Um, I really wanted to make it to the border. I wasn't ready to get off of trail. I know it was the right decision for me. I did see that in most of the pictures and videos of uh, the people that I was hiking with that I've seen, it's still very smoky in most of those videos. And then a lot of people have been off of trail recently for a big storm that came through and there are reports of snow at the terminus as well. So, um, I mean, I know it was the right decision for me to get off trail. I know that I would have had problems with the smoke. I was having problems with the smoke just sitting in town, let alone being out in the woods and trying to hike up mountains. So I don't regret making that decision, but it's been bittersweet watching everybody else finish, wishing I were still out there, wishing that I had the opportunity to finish this year. Um, but it will happen. I'll do it again, you know, do, do the miles that I missed um, in a different season and um, I'll finish then. So it will happen for me too. It'll just be a very long section hike rather than a through hike. Um, so yeah, so that's how I'm doing as far as that's concerned. Also mentally, coming home has been, um, it's been great to see family and friends. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of people yet. I've been taking it very slow. Um, but also it's kind of weird because it's like, I just did something really big. I just went through something really big and then I come home and fall right back into the same old routines that I was in before. I'm staying at my dad's house. I stayed here for three weeks before I started the trail after I'd gotten rid of my apartment. And I'm staying here now until I get a job in an apartment. So, um, so it's been nice to be with family, but it's been hard to um, be home and have everything be exactly the same as if it never happened. So um, family and friends like to talk about it. That's been fun. I'm really enjoying talking about it. I do think that helps. But yeah, it's definitely been hard being um, back as if nothing ever happened, as if I didn't just do this big thing and experience this huge adventure. So um, I'm definitely, you know, just taking it slow and just processing and slowly getting back into the swing of things. And looked at a couple of jobs, haven't applied for anything yet, um, but that's coming soon. And yeah, getting back into the swing of off-trail life.